hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how can you read a csv file into r and r studio so csv file is the file where each value is separated with the help of comma in r studio there are different ways to read a csv file and in this video i will talk about two ways to read a csv file into r studio and r so let's start so in this video i will use read.csv function of r to read csv file first of all we have to attach a file as an object with the with r studio to work on so i will create an object like data equals to uh, data equals to read dot csv and here you can type file dot choose function file dot choose function to select a specific file from where you want okay and then you have to add a um, comma uh, if your data has any heading you have to type header is equal to true okay so this is our uh, code to read a csv file as data in uh, r studio you can see here there is no data available so i will simply press control enter to run this code and as i press control enter you can see here there is a, a pop-up appear uh, which will ask uh, us uh, the location of uh, csv file okay so i have stored this csv file in a desktop so i will go to desktop and then there is a folder data and here is lamb.csv file so i will simply click open and you will see this data is now attached to environment and you can see here so if you simply want to see how this file looks like you can simply type the name of the object like in this case data uh, and i will simply uh, press Control enter and you can see here uh, it has four columns uh, sorry five columns and 10 rows uh, the other way to check uh, data set is through the view function of r uh, you can type view capital v i e w view and then write the name of the object uh, which you want to see like in this case data and just press Control enter and you will see this data like the excel spreadsheet okay this is the extra column which uh, which only shows you uh, the serial number and our data set start from the first this first column where lamb is uh, written uh, this first column is the id of lamb the second column is for the sex of lamb the third column is year of birth of lamb the fourth column is the type of birth either it was single twin or triplet and this fifth column is the birth weight of that lamb okay the other way to read a csv file is through uh, providing the path of the file directly to r and it will directly read that file and will attach to the environment so in this case we need the path of the file so as i have already shown you the file was uh, available at desktop so i will go to desktop and search where it is located okay so here this lamb.csv file is available okay i will simply copy this path and will go to our studio to directly read this file into r i have copied the path of the file so in previous case i stored my data as a data object but in this case I will store this data uh, as an other object so you can write any name uh, for the data which you want to read like uh, in case I will only write here the X okay 
so I will write x equals to read dot csv and here you have to provide quotation mark uh, and here you will paste the path of the file so so this is the path of the file but uh, here another thing which you have to do is replace this backward slash with the forward slash okay so i will delete this backward slash and add here forward slash again this for replace it with forward slash forward slash and this one is also replaced with forward slash and here i will provide the name of the file okay the name of file was lamb dot csv and again you have to uh, uh, tell r whether your data uh, has a header or not so as our data has header i will type here header is equal to true and i will only type here capital t okay in previous example you can see i typed uh, the complete spelling of true but in this case i only typed capital t that is the first letter for true and r will understand that the headers are true to run this command you just simply have to press control and enter okay so in environment you can see x object which contains 10 observation on of five variables which is the complete data set again you can confirm this uh, data set by just typing the um, object name like in this case it was uh, x so we will simply type x here and press control enter and you can see this data is showing here you, uh, the other way to see this data you will uh, you just have to uh, click on the uh, object in environment like in this case i will simply click on it and you will see this data will be shown here so you can do now whatever you want with this data through different codes okay the other important thing how can you remove this data set you will simply type remove and then name of the object which you want to remove i am first going to remove this data okay as you can see here data is available but when i will press control enter so you can see here the data is not available here okay the short form of remove is simply you can type rm and then type the name of the object which you want to remove like in this case i am again going to remove uh, this x object so what i will do i will simply run this this command by pressing ctrl enter okay so this x is also removed here so this is all about this video and i hope uh, it was useful for you and if you like this video please hit the like button and if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe it thank you